Hello, in this video I'm going to go over working with angled units on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. You can check which angled unit your calculator is set to by uh, looking at this uh, bar up here. It is this little box here. Uh, for me it says DEG for degrees. It says RAD for radians and GRA for gradients. To change your angled unit, click Shift and Menu for Setup. And go downwards to here, angle. Here you can switch between the different units. So degrees, obviously 360 degrees in a in a turn. Radians, 2 pi in a turn. And gradients, 400 in a turn. And you can select which one you want to work with. Here are, uh, I'll pick degrees, as I was already in. And then you click exit. Now there is also the, an angle menu. So to access that, we click option. F6 and then F5. Here we can work with other angled units than um, the unit we're currently set to. For example, if I type in pi and then F2 for radians, it'll tell me 180, which is in degrees by default. And that can be useful if you if you just need to do one calculation in a different angle unit, like uh, just a one-off. Like uh, uh, such as in these examples. Now, there are also these buttons here, and this one here, to convert uh, into and out of degrees, minutes, and seconds. So, for example, if I want to do 20 degrees, 45 uh, minutes, and 8 seconds, I type in this. Now, they're all um, the sort of square boxes, but... Um, this is actually representing degrees, minutes, seconds, and clicking execute, you'll see I've now got its decimal representation. To put this back into degrees, minutes, and seconds, we can then click F5, as so. Now, what if we've got a decimal number, such as 52.364, that we want to put into degrees, minutes, and seconds? Well, we can, from here, we click F6, and then F3, and execute, and there we go. There are also here uh, these functions pol and rec. Now, these are used for converting in and out of uh, or between rectangular coordinates and polar coordinates. So rectangular coordinates are um, x, comma uh, y, whereas polar have the modulus, the distance from the origin, and an angle. Um, so, as a quick example, if you want to convert 5, 8, the uh, rectangular coordinate 5, 8 into polar. You type in that, and it gives us this, where this is our modulus, root 89, the distance from the origin, and 57.9946167979 degrees is our um, angle. And you can do the same the other way around. So let's say we are 5 from uh, the origin, um, and in fact, let's have an angle of pi over two radians just to switch things up and use these again and as you see we get uh, 0 comma 5 um yeah this this represents degrees this one radians and this one gradients okay hope you find this video useful thank you